In the vast oceans beneath us, there could be all kinds of advanced civilizations. Israeli archaeologists have just uncovered a literal treasure trove of ancient coins in the seaside port of Kasaria. The ocean is a veil hiding many mysterious secrets, resting silently on the ocean bed. Ancient shipwrecks hold tales of forgotten voyages and lost treasures. From giant eyes to rocket engines, ghostly ship graves, lost cities, and unusual geological formations, the surprises waiting for us are unlimited. Over the years, deep sea divers have uncovered some remarkable underwater discoveries, and we have gathered 20 of the most shocking ones for you. Number 20. The Caesarea Sunken Treasure In 2015, off the coast of the ancient Israeli port town of Caesarea, a group of divers came across an invaluable discovery. What they found were more than 2,000 gold coins lying on the ocean floor. It might have been the previous night's violent storm that had stirred up the ocean floor, unveiling this hidden treasure. Fayer, the diver, saw something shimmering in the ocean. He swam closer to it, only to discover something beyond his wildest dreams. A real gold coin with Arabic script on both sides. This was just the beginning of an incredible adventure. Fayer and his companions didn't let greed carry them away. They quickly contacted Caesarea officials, who alerted the Israeli Antiquities Authority. With another storm approaching, they realized the urgency to preserve this unique find. Working together, they managed to recover more than 2,000 coins. Each one is a remarkable piece of history dating back to the time of the Islamic Fatimid dynasty. Caesarea, a city with a rich past, once served as a bustling hub of trade and commerce under the reign of King Herod. It was once a capital of the Roman province of Judea. The discovery of the coins indicates that Caesarea remained a prosperous center of activity under later Islamic rule. These 24 karat gold dinars offer a glimpse into the world during the reigns of Caliphs al-Hakim and al-Zahir. Minted in Cairo and Palermo, they speak of a united empire with a bustling economy. Through markings and teeth marks left by ancient authenticity checks, historians gain valuable insights into the lives of people from over a millennium ago. For Fayer, the thrill comes not from the monetary value, but from the history it reveals. Number 19. The Baltic Sea Anomaly Deep beneath the waters of the Baltic Sea, a mysterious formation known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly has confused marine explorers for over a decade. Discovered by the Ocean Explorer team in 2011, this unidentified mound has sparked various theories. Some have suggested that it might be a crashed UFO or the cockpit of a flying saucer, given its unusual shape and mysterious electrical interference that disrupted equipment when explored. Divers from the crew found what appeared to be a series of steps and a domed compartment. This raised a theory suggesting hidden passageways and tunnels beneath the structure's surface. The idea of a secret Nazi bunker constructed during World War II has also been proposed, suggesting that it might have been an anti-shipping weapon in the Bolthian Sea. However, scientific studies from Stockholm University offer a more logical explanation. Geologists believe the Baltic Sea anomaly is a glacial deposit, a leftover from moving glaciers during the Ice Age, as they believe that this region was heavily influenced by glacial thawing processes during that time. The rock samples found on the structure match volcanic rock, indicating that the anomaly formed thousands of years ago during the Ice Age. Despite these scientific findings, the circular shape and strange characteristics of the formation continue to raise fantastical theories. Number 18. Underwater Crop Circles Deep sea divers exploring the ocean floor have witnessed an intriguing phenomenon, the underwater crop circles. These strange, seven-foot diameter patterned circles were initially discovered in 1995 off the coast of southern Japan, earning them the nickname Mystery Circles. For years, their origin remained a secret, leaving scientists and divers confused. In 2011, the culprit was finally caught in the act. It turned out to be a male pufferfish, merely five inches long. These small creatures created these elaborate designs, and the purpose of this creation was to attract female pufferfish. The male pufferfish were observed spending seven to nine days constructing their circles with utmost dedication. 
They swam in and out of the circle repeatedly, using their fins to dig valleys on the sandy ocean floor. Aesthetics were crucial to the design, and the males decorated the peaks of the circle with shell and coral fragments, showcasing their artistic flair. The male's swimming pattern stirred up fine sand particles, which were pushed towards the center of the circle, creating an actual nest. Scientists believe that the quality of the circle may influence a female's choice of a mate. Once mating is complete, the male stops maintaining the circle, and after the eggs hatch, he abandons the nest entirely. So, for the next round of egg rearing, these artists have to start from scratch again. Number 17. Giant Eyeball Deep-sea divers have encountered some truly bizarre discoveries beneath the ocean waves, but this one is way too strange. Imagine discovering a giant eyeball. Recently, a colossal blue eyeball washed ashore on a Florida beach. After careful examination, fish and wildlife officials concluded that this mysterious eyeball likely came from a swordfish. The eye's color, size, and structure, along with the presence of bone around it, led researchers to this conclusion. But exactly how big the swordfish in the Atlantic Ocean can grow up to? Well, a staggering 1,100 pounds. Hence, this massive eye can definitely belong to them. However, photos of the softball-sized eye circulated on social media, raising various theories. Some suggested it could have belonged to a deep-sea squid or even a mysterious sea creature. Biologist Sonke Johnson of Duke University said that large xiphoids, like swordfish or marlins, have eyes that remain mostly concealed within their heads, making them ideal candidates for this usual find. To put an end to all the theories, genetic testing will be conducted by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's Research Institute. Number 16. Apollo Moon Rocket Engines In a daring expedition led by Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, long-lost Apollo, moon rocket engines were found and raised from the seafloor. More than four decades ago, the powerful F-1 engines propelled NASA's mighty Saturn V rockets on their missions to Earth, orbit, and the moon. Once their job was done, they plummeted into the Atlantic Ocean, seemingly lost forever. However, Bezos's secret deep-sea expedition uncovered an astonishing underwater wonderland of twisted F-1 engine parts. Using the deep-sea sonar and remotely operated vehicles, the team located and recovered significant pieces of the engines from the ocean's depths, more than 14,000 feet down. These engines hold the legacy of the thousands of engineers who once worked together, achieving what was thought to be impossible. As the engines make their way back to port in Cape Canaveral, Florida, Bezos has plans to rebuild two Saturn V F-1 engines for public display. However, the exact history of these engine parts remains uncertain, as some serial numbers are missing or damaged. The restoration process will stabilize the hardware, preserving its true story, including the incredible 5,000 mile per hour re-entry and impact with the ocean's surface. The question of where these remarkable artifacts will find their permanent home remains unanswered. Bezos hopes that one of the engines will be exhibited at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, near Amazon's headquarters and his commercial spaceflight company, Blue Origin. Number 15. Train Graveyard Off the coast of New Jersey lies a deep-sea train graveyard, a mysterious underwater treasure that has captured everyone's attention. Two rare locomotives from the 1850s have been found, preserved under 90 feet of water. Yet, their story remains a mystery. There's no historical record of their construction or loss, leaving us with many questions. Were they victims of a storm while being transported from Boston to the Mid-Atlantic? Despite being encrusted in 160 years of rust, the locomotives remain remarkably intact. The images of these once powerful machines covered with barnacles leave us all wondering about their journey through time. These rare planet-class triple 2T models were already outdated when they were built. Weighing only 15 tons, they were fully loaded, self-contained locomotives at a time when their larger counterparts reached 30 tons. Their small size packed a punch, but it wasn't enough to keep them in use for long. The discovery itself was a fortunate accident. In 1985, a boat captain named Paul Hepler came across these aging hulks while mapping the ocean bottom with a magnetometer. Now, the New Jersey Museum of Transportation is faced with a fascinating challenge. 
what to do with these historically significant artifacts. If they plan to pull the locomotives to the surface, it is not going to be an easy task. Number 14. Vampire Squid Something very unusual was discovered at the depths of around 2,600 to 3,000 feet in the South China Sea. In 2016, Chinese scientists captured an extraordinary creature now named Fifth. South China Sea is, or the Vampire Squid. There are vampire squids identified earlier, but this one was different. Could this be evidence of more vampire squid species waiting to be discovered? Vampire squids are captivating cephalopods, not fitting the typical squid or octopus description. About the shape and size of a football, they possess unique defensive abilities. Instead of inking, they emit a cloud of bioluminescent sticky mucus that glows, providing them with an escape tactic from predators. Though the scientific community awaits peer-reviewed validation of the new species' claim, the discovery of the fifth South China Sea has undoubtedly sparked curiosity and fascination among marine biologists. Number 13. Sea Angels Recently, there was a unique discovery of something that seems quite out of this world. Known as the Sea Angels, these teeny tiny sea slugs can measure up to 7 centimeters in length. They are known for their wing-like appendages that help them gracefully glide through their ocean home. However, the most captivating aspect of sea angels is their semi-transparent bodies, which allow us to see their internal organs and gonads. They are hermaphrodites, meaning they can switch sexes, and their mating rituals resemble a graceful dance, creating a captivating display in the depths of the ocean. But don't be fooled by their angelic appearance. The sea angels are ferocious predators, feasting on sea butterflies. Different sea angels have unique strategies for hunting their prey, ambushing or actively chasing them with impressive speed. The real horror begins when they catch their prey. Sea angels reveal their terrifying side by deploying tentacle-like appendages called buckle cones, armed with hooks and teeth like radula to scoop the sea butterflies out of their shells and into their gullets. Imagine a ruthless murderer with transparent skin, revealing a beating heart and flailing tentacles, ready to scoop out its prey's insides like an avocado from its shell. And like any good supervillain, sea angels have their defenses. Some species produce chemicals to keep the fish from eating them. They even have little crustacean henchmen called amphipods who attach themselves for protection. Despite their frightful behavior, sea angels prove to be a unique discovery. They are amazing creatures that have survived for millions of years since the Cretaceous period. Number 12. Jesus Statue Diving into the depths of Lake Michigan, we can witness a breathtaking sight. This is the only underwater crucifix in freshwater. It stands tall at 11 feet with a 5-foot 5 5-inch 5 figure of Jesus Christ attached. This giant statue has drawn hundreds of eager spectators to the frozen lake in northern Michigan. The crucifix is situated approximately 260 yards from the shore of Petoskey, lying below 22 feet of water and hidden beneath 5 feet of ice. It is so attractive that despite the cold, people patiently wait for its glimpse through a hole carved in the frozen surface. The story behind the crucifix's placement dates back to 1956, when a tragic accident claimed the life of a 15-year-old farm boy in Bad Axe, Michigan. In their grief, the boy's family sought to honor his memory and purchased a 1,850-pound crucifix from Italy for $2,500. Unfortunately, the cross broke during transit, and the family refused to accept it. The crucifix then found its way to Little Traverse Bay near Petoskey in 1962 after being sold in an insurance sale to a diving club. Originally intended as a memorial for a diver who lost his life in Torch Lake, the crucifix became a symbol of remembrance for all those who perished at sea. Its first public viewing took place in 2015, drawing an enormous amount of visitors. Number 11. Underwater Prison An underwater adventure in Estonia led to the discovery of a hidden gem, an underwater prison. Located about 28 miles from Tallinn, Rumu holds a fascinating history. In 1938, Inmates from the Rumu prison, also known as Muru, were engaged in limestone and marble mining, living in a prison camp within the quarry. However, when Estonia gained independence from the USSR in 1991, the prison was shut down, leaving the site abandoned. 
Over time, the quarry floor began to flood again, submerging the prison buildings and creating an astonishing underwater city. Now, this spectacular site has become a popular dive destination for the adventurous. However, you can't just dive there like this. To explore this submerged wonderland, divers need to gain access to private property where the site is situated. As you dip underwater, a haunting scene awaits. Buildings covered in graffiti stand above the surface, frozen in time. Venture further and evidence of human habitation emerges, with remnants of the prison that seem preserved underwater. Inside the submerged buildings, you'll encounter concrete sheets, lamp posts, barbed wire and mining equipment, some of which still have prison bars on the windows. The site of an algae-covered flooded forest, with trees standing between 10 and 13 feet tall, adds to the haunting aura of this underwater museum. With low visibility and extreme temperatures, diving at such a depth to explore these hunting remnants seems quite a challenge. Number 10. The Molinari Underwater Sculpture Park If you dive into the deep waters of the west coast of Grenada, you'll encounter a mesmerizing underwater art installation known as the Molinari Underwater Sculpture Park. Now, this isn't something ordinary. Crafted by artist Jason DeCares Taylor, this park made history as the world's first underwater sculpture park, opening its submerged gates in 2006. What awaits you beneath the water are 75 stunning sculptures designed in human-like forms, all created from materials that encourage coral growth and marine life. The motivation behind this unique creation was to promote the conservation and rejuvenation of marine life around Grenada. However, it seems quite a little scary. You can witness the haunting beauty of the vicissitudes, a circle of 26 Grenadian children holding hands. There are other remarkable installations, like a man on a bicycle, a mermaid, and a woman taking a selfie on a bench. The Molinari Underwater Sculpture Park focuses on the interrelationship between art and nature, with its dynamic installation called Grace Reef. As the tides and water manipulate the environment, female figures become covered in sand and exposed again, showcasing the ever-changing essence of life. However, recently the Silent Cry installation was made. It features a woman enfolded in tree roots. And not to forget, the replica of Christ of the Deep stands as a tribute to the original sculpture located on land in St. George's Harbor. To explore this submerged wonderland, head to Molinera Point via boat. Number 9. Ghost Fleet of Chuck Lagoon Deep below the surface of the waters of Chuck Lagoon in Micronesia lies a haunting site known as the Ghost Fleet. This underwater graveyard is a chilling reminder of a historical battle that took place during World War II. In 1944, the Lagoon, then known as Turk, was a crucial base for the Imperial Japanese Navy. The United States launched Operation Hailstone, unleashing a devastating attack that resulted in the sinking of around 40 ships and the destruction of over 200 aircraft, claiming thousands of lives. Renowned underwater photographer and filmmaker Becky Kagan Schott ventured to Chuk Lagoon to document this historical site. With over 40 shipwrecks in shallow depths, she had the opportunity to spend time on each wreck and capture the marine life that now calls these wrecks home. However, Chuck Lagoon is also a mass gravesite, serving as a resting place for those who lost their lives during the intense battle. Schott's mission is not only to capture stunning visuals, but also to tell the stories of the people who perished there. With respect for the lives lost, she navigates the wrecks, each with its own unique history, and attempts to capture the essence of this haunting site. However, the Ghost Fleet's existence is a race against time and the relentless forces of nature. Decay and deterioration are slowly claiming the wrecks, making the efforts to preserve them seem urgent. Number 8. Weedy Sea Dragon The Weedy Sea Dragon, a creature that resembles a mythical dragon, was seen in the waters along the coast of southeastern Australia. This creature seems to be closely related to seahorses, boasting long and slender mouths used to eat tiny crustaceans and zooplankton. Their bodies feature multiple appendages that resemble seaweed, providing excellent camouflage among vast beds of seagrass and kelp. With very few predators capable of seeing them, these extraordinary beings can live up to six years, often surprising divers with their size, reaching over 17 inches in length. 
To spot one, you need to venture deep around Botany Bay near Sydney or just off the Mornington Peninsula. For the daring, you may even snorkel with them but be prepared for the chilly waters in Melbourne. However, this creature has many other amazing facts discovered recently. One of the most captivating aspects is the unique patterns on their torsos, acting like human fingerprints, allowing scientists to identify individuals. Their reproductive behavior is equally fascinating, with the female depositing eggs on the male's tail, where they stay for up to a month before hatching. The bright purple eggs against the golden yellow body of the sea dragon make for some stunning photos. Number 7. The Underwater River Rivers are known to flow into the ocean, but can they flow beneath the water? Something like this was witnessed beneath the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, hidden from sight and largely unexplored. Some giant undersea rivers of sediment flow thousands of miles from the coast. One such extraordinary undersea river is the Monterey Canyon off the coast of California. It rivals the mighty Colorado River that carved the iconic Grand Canyon. Yet, these dramatic wonders remain unseen in tourist photographs and maps, tucked away two miles below the ocean's surface. Similar underwater rivers have been discovered all over the world, from the coasts of Greenland and the Amazon to the Congo and Bengal. They stretch for thousands of miles, several miles wide, and remain one of the least understood phenomena on Earth. These undersea rivers are similar to their terrestrial counterparts. They boast banks, tributaries, and meandering paths, and can even change course, creating abandoned sections similar to Oxbow Lakes. They spill onto the abyssal plain of the deep ocean, resembling river estuaries. Does this mean there is life on the ocean's surface like it is on the land? Well, instead of fresh water, these rivers are made of slurries of silt and sand. Each particle tumbles under its own weight, creating a torrent-like flow. Despite the difficulty in exploration, many researchers have ventured into these mysterious channels using autonomous underwater vehicles and acoustic speed cameras. But there is still much left to learn. Number 6. The Bimini Road Imagine diving just six meters below the water's surface and coming face to face with an astonishing wall. This is what the subsea archaeologists found underwater in 1968. An ancient 457 meter long cobbled road known as Bimini Road or Bimini Wall. The road is made of massive angular blocks of beach rock, each up to four meters in length, lying in perfect alignment along the sea floor. After the discovery, Many theories emerged suggesting a legendary connection between Bimini Road and the fabled city of Atlantis. However, the beach rock that forms the road is prevalent across North Bimini's coast. It consists of a mixture of materials, including peloids, sand, shell fragments, and remains of a Cambrian protozoan called benthic foraminifera, all cemented together. Radiocarbon dating estimated the age of the Bimini Road rocks to be around 2,000 years old. This relatively young age stands as solid evidence against any connection to the ancient Atlantis, said to have vanished 12,000 years ago. Despite the evidence, some tenacious paleontologists attempted to challenge the findings. They carried out studies to align the rocks with Atlantis's timeline. However, these findings were debunked due to dating inaccuracy. So, the Bimini Road might not lead you to the mythical city of Atlantis. It still remains a stunning snorkeling spot. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Time for a really intriguing subscriber's pick. This discovery in the Minnesota lake will leave you scared for sure. Deep underwater, at a staggering depth of 120 feet in Louise, a state-owned mine pit in Crosby, lies a terrifying sight. The Jason Voorhees statue. Fictional though he may be, the unstoppable slasher from the Friday the 13th franchise has been brought to life by the talented artist Doug Klein. Armed with a machete and sporting his iconic mask, this nightmarish yet fantastic statue waits to surprise unsuspecting divers. The scary presence of Jason Voorhees has made this diving spot quite attractive for fans of horror. Would you dare to dive and get a closer look? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5 the Moai statue. In a remarkable discovery on Easter Island, scientists have uncovered a previously unknown Moai statue hidden away in a dry lake bed on a remote Pacific island. 
Geologists came across a large stone figure while investigating the aftermath of fires that swept through the area. Little did they know that this finding could lead to even more revelations about the ancestral Rapa Nui people. This fascinating discovery suggests that the lake had dried up at some point in the past, providing an opportunity for the Rapa Nui to move the statue to its current location. However, there can be more hidden figures and ancient tools concealed within this once underwater site. As researchers go deeper into this archaeological site, archaeologist Jose Miguel Ramirez believes that more Moai statues might reveal themselves. And who knows, he might actually be true. Easter Island itself, located about 2,200 miles from the mainland of Chile, is a protected national park and a World Heritage Site. It has been inhabited for over a thousand years, and its iconic monolithic human figures, the Moai, were erected between 400 to 700 years ago. Hence, for the Ma'u Henua indigenous community, this discovery holds great historical significance. So now, the half-buried 1.5-meter Moai will undergo testing to determine its current condition and ways to preserve it. Number 4. The Cuttlefish a unique member of the cephalopod family is the cuttlefish, sharing ancestors with octopuses and squids. Their soft bodies, ten appendages, and an interior gas-filled shell known as the cuttlebone distinguish them from other mollusks. Deep divers have discovered over 120 species of cuttlefish, all of which live exclusively in the seas. They prefer tropical and temperate seas, with depths of less than 600 meters. Now let's see how intelligent they are. Well. They can solve mazes, riddles, and even plan for the future while maintaining mental acuity as they age. We humans might be envious of this. You can't underestimate the great eyesight they have as deadly predators. On top of this, they have incredible color-changing talents for hunting. Their skin contains small cells known as chromatophores, which allow them to change their color, reflectivity, and texture instantaneously. It's almost like magic. But how long do these vibrant marvels live? Cuttlefish, unlike other marine organisms, follow a live-fast, die-young strategy with a lifespan of only one or two years, peaking after spawning. The Australian giant cuttlefish, which may grow up to 50 centimeters long and weigh more than 10 kilograms, will astound you. It is quite a sight to behold. Cuttlefish, like their cousins, the octopuses and squid, can spew ink to avoid danger. We can say that the cuttlefish are true sea chameleons, and they deserve all the attention for their interesting characteristics. Number 3. The Rare Deep Sea Octopus Nurseries You are bound to be amazed by this discovery from the depths of the western coast of Costa Rica. Off the Pacific Ocean lies a rare deep sea octopus nursery captured by the Schmidt Ocean Institute during their three-week expedition on the research vessel Falcor. In the past, scientists were aware of only one deep-sea octopus nursery found off California's coast. However, this groundbreaking research has unveiled not one but two new active nurseries, showcasing the fascinating world of these eight-armed creatures. The footage reveals mother octopuses brooding their eggs and adorable hatchlings emerging into the underwater world. The deep-sea octopus brooding process is no easy feat, sometimes lasting over four years, where the mother octopuses must protect their eggs from predators while eating very little or nothing at all. The warm fluids from hydrothermal vents might be a factor in speeding up their eggs' development, but there's still much to learn about these mysterious creatures. The expedition encountered many other fascinating organisms, possibly even new species, inhabiting the never-before-seen seamounts. Such an incredible discovery needs more in-depth studying. And for this task, the University of Costa Rica has started its mission of collecting specimens and learning more about the nursing octopuses and potentially new species. We never know which new species we will discover under the depth of the ocean. Number 2. Aqaba's Underwater Military Museum Located just off the shores of Aqaba, Jordan, this unique project was a result of 30 days of meticulous planning leading up to the sinking of 19 pieces of military hardware in a battle formation. Among the impressive displays are tanks of different sizes, an ambulance, a military crane, a troop carrier, anti-aircraft guns, and even a combat helicopter. 
The Aqaba Special Economic Zone Authority, responsible for overseeing this groundbreaking project, emphasized the importance of environmental consideration. Prior to sinking, all hazardous materials were removed, adhering to the best environmental practices. The location of the museum was carefully chosen for its lack of coral and marine life, aiming to alleviate the impact of increased tourism on local coral reefs. Not only will this attraction draw more diverse to Aqaba, but it will also serve as an artificial site, reducing the pressure on natural coral reefs. By offering depths ranging from 15 to 28 meters, visitors can enjoy the museum to its fullest. You can have an amazing time snorkeling and scuba diving. Number 1. Heraklion City Divers have made an astonishing discovery in the sunken city of Thonis Heraklion. This once thriving metropolis was Egypt's largest port on the Mediterranean, dominating the region for centuries before the establishment of Alexandria by Alexander the Great. Rediscovered in 2001 in Abu Chir Bay near Alexandria, Thonis Heraklion met its fate, along with a vast area of the Nile Delta due to multiple earthquakes and tidal waves. Recently, an Egyptian-French mission led by the European Institute for Underwater Archaeology made remarkable finds, shedding light on the city's past. Among the rare remains unveiled is a military vessel that sank when the famed Temple of Amun collapsed in the 2nd century BC. The 25-meter flat-bottomed ship, equipped with oars and a large sail, displays a fascinating fusion of classical tradition and ancient Egyptian construction. But there's more. In another part of the city, the mission uncovered the remains of a large Greek funerary area dating back to the first years of the 4th century BC. This discovery showcases the presence of Greek merchants who lived in the city, allowed to settle there during the late Pharaonic dynasties. Their sanctuaries, situated close to the Grand Temple of Amun, stood as a testament to their vibrant presence. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.